Flame fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle, I suppose. This is the kitchen, but there's plants. That counts, right? Anyway, if you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a really fun video for you. I was reached out to by a company called Plant Flix, and they have cute little houseplant seeds and like kits and stuff like that to get you started so i don't know about you guys but i have never grown anything from a seed before besides like sunflowers and stuff like that easy things and i know that house plants aren't necessarily always the easiest thing to grow from seed, even if you have experience gardening and growing herbs and veggies and stuff like that, which I sort of do a little teeny tiny bit, but I did it very like for a short period of time in a friend's garden and then they moved and I couldn't do it anymore. So um, yeah, I thought this would be really fun and today is going to be, you know, <laughs> unboxing, seeing if this is complicated for my brain, but I got, I believe like a kit so what's cool about this i also can't find my box cutter which is really irritating because i feel like this happens all the time i'll lose it for a period of time and then it'll pop up again but i could really use it right now um because this is not i don't recommend this with scissors so i thought this would be really fun i forgot what i was saying before oh maybe because i'm opening it dumb Oh, they have a quiz. You can take like a seed quiz, I think they call it. And um, it'll help match you with the right seeds and whatnot for your um, home and your care, your lighting, stuff like that. Look at this packaging, you guys. I don't remember what I picked. I know it was a kit. Grow an indoor jungle houseplant seed kit. This is a beginner kit because like I said, I've never done it before. So they have different um, levels, beginner, intermediate. I don't know if there's another level after that, but obviously I thought it was appropriate for me to start with beginner plants. So what's in here are five beginner house plant seed packs. I've got 20 pink polka dot plant seeds, 20 white polka dot plant seeds, 20 rainbow coleus seeds, 20 bridal creeper seeds, I don't know what that is, and 20 china doll plant seeds, which I'm actually excited about because I do like that plant and I don't ever buy one because they're usually really big. Um, and then it comes with like a little mini greenhouse, the little pods, and a guide for everything that you need to know, which is why I think the kit is a really, really cute idea if you're just starting out like I am and you've never grown any house plants from seed before they have like other cacti and stuff too as you get more advanced I also had them add in a little monstera deliciosa so you can buy them separately like this you can get whatever you want you can mix it all up or you can get a kit like this again I think this is a really cute idea this would be a really good gift I think too so I mean, why don't we just get started and see what's inside? So houseplants, again, like I said, can be kind of tricky to grow. So um, I think this is really fun. They have a guide online. I think the guide is in here as well, but they also have like an online guide for everything that you need to know. And their customer service is really, really great um, so far from what I've read and experienced with them. So if you have any questions or you need help with anything, even if like you're just like, why are my seedlings dying? They will help you. They might even replace your plants if you murder them. <laughs> so this is what the inside of the kit looks like. Ooh, more little seed packets. So these are my pink polka dot seeds. It's got all the directions on how to set everything up in here. We're gonna do it together. Bridal creeper seeds, asparagus, asparagoides, smilax. Okay, I don't know what that is. Maybe if I saw a picture of it, I would recognize it. 
china doll cute these like bush out really cute um i do like coleus i have tried to grow it outside and bring it inside for the winter and it didn't really work out but i would love to be able to grow some and i think there's another polka dot yeah white polka dot these are hypoestes so there's that and there's this cute little greenhouse situation so it's got its little vents on the top little plastic pods and then it, they give you your chunk of cocoa and I think that's it everything in the packaging so far looks recycle recyclable too aside from the little plastic air thingy but never mad about that we'll probably actually reuse that it looks like they reuse their own paper because it has the same graphics on it so okay 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 let's get started hopefully it's not complicated because directions and i don't always get along the setup add warm water to the soil discs in a bowl until it expands into moist and light soil that's this so we're going to stick that in a bowl of water and then i'm going to fill each Greenhouse with soil. I'll fill the little greenhouse with soil and so I two seeds per cell What does that mean a one to two seeds is that a one Looks like an I maybe it's one One to two seeds per cell Cover with humidity dome with the air vents closed. Place in a bright spot like a windowsill out of direct sun or under grow lights. Keep the seeds warm, 70 degrees. So I'm going to put mine up in the greenhouse. If you have a heat mat, use it. Keep the soil moist. Once the seeds germinate, remove the dome and keep brightly lit. They may germinate at different times, in which case you can carefully repot in the germinated seedlings. Welcome to your new seed kit. Growing from seed is a hobby in its own right, and these kits are a terrific starting point. Cute. It's important to remember houseplant treats seeds are tricky. Oh, and they give you the QR code here for the seed guide or the care instructions and all that good stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna follow the directions. if we can figure this out I don't think it's too complicated I've got my soil here I've got my little greenhouse here and I'm just gonna fill up each little pod and pack it down a little bit but not too much same as I would do with any other soil a nice fluffy soil mix for sure assuming that uh, seeds like that and you definitely have to keep these moist so it it holds on to water down here which is nice I like this little greenhouse setup it's cute So I've got all my dirt in their little pods and the next thing to do is fill uh, sow one to two seeds. I think that means like you do you put them under the soil or do you just place them on top? 
Stick them in gently. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna start with the coleus. They're so little. I don't have like little tweezer thingies. That would be helpful though. So I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability here. To just put a few. Right? Hey, that was more than a few. I don't think I'm doing this right, but that's fine. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> because there's 20 seeds in there. And it says... So one to two seeds per cell. Alright, well they're really little. There's still some in there, so that counts, right? Oh, were there like little instructions inside here for this one? Seed prep. None. Depth. One. Okay, they're supposed to go down. Whoopsie. I'm not good at this, you guys. I just usually kind of wing it when I do seeds, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm like, well, if they grow, they grow. Two to three seeds per three inch nursery pot. Oh, okay, okay. Cocoa coir, peat based potting mix. Humidity very high. Okay. Coleus. I'm gonna save each one of these little things, obviously. Alright, what next? Let's do the white polka dots. Seats are so tiny. I need one of those little tweezer thingies. Okay. Quarter to an eighth of an inch down. Two to four seeds per pot. Are they just in here? They are. Okay. These ones are a little bit bigger. So, one, two, three. And I'm gonna put you down in there. And one, two, three. And push you down in there. Alright. And that's enough for that one because I have two different colors of this. Let's just try to get all these little seeds back in there. Oop, I think I dropped one. Very high humidity. Yeah, these are all the same care essentially. Germination time one to two weeks. Let's do some pink ones. Assuming this little thing is going to say the same thing <laughs> since it's the same plant. In a different color. You got two to four seeds. Okay, they are a different color. Interesting. Let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so ideally I would have saved some soil to put over them. But you know, we're trying. That's enough for the polka dot plants. So I want to grow more of the ones I know I like. I'm only going to grow one cell of this bridal creeper plant. I don't even really know what it is. Two to four seeds, quarter of an inch down. Ooh, these ones are big. That'll make it easier. <laughs> so let's do one, two, 
We didn't say two to three. Three. Oh, we could do four. Let's do another one. Four. Okay. I feel good about that one. I feel like I actually did that one properly. <laughs> but we'll see. I didn't label any of them. I probably should have labeled them. Um, but that's fine. Um, and then what is this? Oh, the China doll. So I'm going to grow two of these and then two Monstera Deliciosa. Ooh. Obviously, I want to grow Monster Delicioso. One to three seeds. Okay. Oh. Oh, these are the seeds. I was like, I thought this was trash that fell out. Oh, these are the seeds. Oh, shoot. I can't even get it. I just cut my nails. Ah! These are the seeds, apparently. So... At least we can see them. One. Two. And three. Okay. I literally thought that was just like trash that fell out of there. <laughs> Let's see, two to three weeks to germinate. Oh wait, I only did one. I was going to do two. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Doop. Get these little weirdos in there. One. Two. Three. Cover them up. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then last, these feel big. The Monstera Deliciosa seeds. Let's see what these look like. Oh, yeah. Those are big. Let's see what this says. One to three seeds. Her pot. <laughs> Same conditions though. 7 to 30 weeks to germinate. Okay. So this one's more beginner intermediate. But I was pretty um, set on trying this out. So these ones are going to take longer to germinate. But I mean, I guess that's kind of to be expected. Look how big these seeds are. Stick them in there. One, two, and three. One, two. And three. Okay. And that is that. Put these back in the correct bag. Store these somewhere safe. It would be cool if these were resealable. Since they don't have like little baggies on hand. Okay, the only thing left to do is give them a little bit of water. They don't really need it because I just soaked the soil, but I don't know. I have this little squirt bottle. Definitely recommend one of these for something like this. This is what I use to water my succulents and my little baby hoyas and propagations and stuff like that. So there's a tray underneath. To catch any excess water it's already doing that so we're gonna put the lid on 
and we're gonna make sure the vent is closed and I'm gonna go find a home for this in the greenhouse. Okay fam, so that's it. We started our seeds, we watered our seeds, and then I put them up here in the greenhouse. I will keep you updated and let you know. I mean, some of them are gonna take a few weeks, hopefully not longer than that before we see little sprouts, some action going on for me to show you guys. So today is October 5th and um, I suppose we'll call this day one of our seed growing experiment, growing houseplants from seeds. So I will see you guys in a couple of weeks and let you know how it's going. If you like this video and you're excited to see the rest of the videos to come and watch these plants hopefully grow together, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Definitely appreciate it. You'll get a cute little highlighted comment like a super chat. And yeah, that's it. I appreciate you and I hope I see you in the next one. I keep hitting this plant next to me. Can't talk, talk with my hand. Anyway, I love you fam. Bye.